Lymphoma is a round cell tumor. It is one of the two most commonly diagnosed tumors in veterinary medicine. It's one of the tumors we see the most of, that and mast cell tumor. But it prevents, presents very differently between dogs and cats. The treatment is also very different between dogs and cats. Uh, and a lot of times the prognosis is also different. So with canine lymphoma in our dogs, typically we see a presentation of what we call multicentric with generalized lymphadenopathy. So that is where their peripheral lymph nodes, so the lymph nodes kind of located on the outside of their body, get really enlarged. Um, sometimes these patients can be sick, um, but sometimes they feel actually fine. They feel really well, they just have these really large lymph nodes. We do know that one of the biggest prognostic factors or indications of response to therapy in dogs is what we call immunophenotype. Um, there's a B cell and a T cell immunophenotype. B cell tends to be a little bit better. Uh, T cell tends to be a little bit worse prognosis. But in cats, where we typically do not see a generalized lymphadenopathy presentation, generally kitty cats tend to present with what we call GI lymphoma. That is the most common uh, site in our kitty cats. And immunohistochemistry in cats is not prognostic where it is in dogs. So most common site of lymphoma in the kitty cat is the GI tract. Um, and we typically break that into small cell and large cell. Uh, and then our dog friends, that is our peripheral generalized lymphadenopathy with those big lymph nodes on the, on the periphery of the body. Doesn't mean that cats can't get <laughs> peripheral um, lymphadenopathy or have that presentation, but it's certainly not the most common. We'll also see extra nodal sites in cats. So um, in the nose or in the kidney or in one single location, but not located within the lymph nodes.